Hello everyone, in this video we're going to carve this little decorative rooster. First I will show you how to do a sketch. It will help you to visualize a rooster and break it into a few sections. I will be using simple shapes, starting with the head as a circle, his beak as a little triangle and then this crown on the head, which is actually called comb. Well, learning something new every day. Guess what that thing under the beak is called? It's wattle. Then I sketch his body. Notice that these are two similar curved lines, one smaller and one bigger. Notice the space between the tail and the head. It's not very big at all. Make a few feathers and then connect the lines. Now the wing, approximately somewhere in the middle of his body. And now just give him a stand with a single leg. Now let's draw the same thing on a piece of wood. I am using oak this time. I like using slightly harder types of wood, because they hold small details, especially when we are going to shape his wattle. But if you are very careful and your knife is sharp, you can do it with basswood as well. You can scale it according to your piece, it can be as big or as small as you like. I normally start with drawing the head, but make sure you have enough space for the comb, his beak and also the tail. The tail is slightly higher than the head is. Also, I'm going to trace it with a pen, so that it doesn't rub off during carving. I still have a lot of wood left, so I'm going to saw it off. So, this is what we have. I will be using a slightly bigger knife this time, occasionally going back to my detail knife as well. You can use any knife you are comfortable with. So, the first step is to carve around the outline. If your wood allows it, you can curl your wrist and just carve around the shape. Or, and I am going to do that a lot as well, make a stop cut and then carve towards it. It makes it easier if you draw lines to show yourself how much wood you need to cut. In this case, everything between the head and the tail. I continue shaping around the outline, this time under the tail.
So now something to keep in mind is that the wing is supposed to be on the foreground and the rest of the body apart from the stand behind it. Draw a line with your knife around the wing and then carve towards it to define it. Again, I am leaving the stand as it is. Now we need to do the same on the other side. First I define the stand and then I draw the wing. Approximately, it doesn't have to be in the exact same position. Also remember that your wings need to have some thickness. Now we need to make the tail thinner. I will draw the feathers again later. Draw a central line to keep the symmetry. So I made it a bit thinner than the body. It will look better this way and it would be easier to carve the feathers. The space between the feathers doesn't have to go deep into the tail, but I will define it a bit more here on the surface.
Now let's concentrate on the head. I am drawing a middle line and then the first thing I do is carving the comb. I will shape it later, but for now I just made it a bit thinner. Now let's do the beak. It should be pointy, meeting in the middle. And I will also make the head thinner. I made it approximately the same width as the body, minus wings. Leave the wattle, we will deal with it later. You don't have to do it, but this is how I made the beak more prominent and defined. I made a circle with my knife around it. So, the wattle. First I make it a bit thinner. It is going to be rather flat, maybe curving a little bit upwards. Here I am drawing two oval shapes. Now we need to take out the unnecessary wood between the wings. Just a few more things left. Let's make those three separate feathers on each wing. One of the last things left to do is comb. Let's draw it and then shape it with a knife. Almost ready. Now let's smooth it out. 
Remove all the sharp corners and pencil lines. For a finishing touch, I will sand my rooster and then oil it with some linseed oil. Look how the natural color just pops on him. This is just one of the ways to carve a rooster. I hope you liked it and you found something useful. If you carve one of those, don't forget to tag me on Instagram.